Ozzy Griffin and this is a response to Dynamite Ruby aka the Crip Queen's video scorned. Ash is, Ash is the Raven is a sociopath. There's no other word for it. If you check out Thomas Sheridan's uh, work in Puzzling People, Labyrinth of the Psychopath, you will learn, and the cover is beautifully done. Uh, the cover explains it all really, if you know what you're looking at. You will learn that there's about five key traits for a sociopath, and Ashes the Raven has ticked all of them. And the reason I can speak with such authority is I've been where you are. When I got out of secondary school, I uh, got to an institute of technical and further education, TAFE for short, and I think it's what the Americans would call an A and M. Uh, and basically, I met someone. She was stimulating, fascinating, had an interesting take on things, and uh, was very, very clever. That's not always the word. And I thought that in interesting uh, individual had a lot of capacity because uh, she had a sob story a mile long and gosh darn it, don't you know it, I felt sorry for her. So I put up with her BS uh, throughout most of my TAFE career of two years and then for two years or so after, uh, a bit under two years actually, a year, about a year and a half, after TAFE, when I was living with her as a housemate, fixing up her problems and sorting out her messes and paying for stuff. And any time I would raise an issue, even a harmless one, or ask questions, there was always some rebuke, always some uh, stance of, you can't question that, that is beyond reproach. Yet any time I wanted to do something solely about me, she either wasn't interested or she openly derided it. I wanted to cry your video. I've just done with that though. I'm not saying that's because of you. I'm burned out on the subject. I have been there and done that and I quite literally have the marks to prove it. And I'm not laying blame here. Sociopaths have one advantage as a predatory subspecies of humanity over a lot of people. They will allow... They, they do not have the filters or the uh, layering of emotional requirements that we do over our perception. They see things pretty much as they are insofar as the things they're able to see. There was a great, uh, what was that woman's name? The, the author of The Female Eunuch was on a panel discussion and she showed herself as a sociopath, big and large. She gets up there on stage and says, when a daughter hugs her father goodnight, she's not really doing it out of love. She's learning to manipulate. And all of my alarms just rang at the same time. I know why I hugged my parents as a kid. I love them. The fact that she couldn't understand that concept, the fact that she couldn't see it as anything other than cynical. And that's, that's the problem. Aside from not understanding love or compassion uh, except as an abstract form of indebting others to you, they will see the rest of human behavior as pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Bertrand Russell was a great example. And the truth is, this, why Ash the Raven did what he did, it was to take something away from you. Because the truth is, sociopaths work on fear and threat. 
they're afraid of people who are more of a threat to them. And what really bothers them is creativity. They don't have it. Oh, they're, they're very creative when it comes to making up stories and creating drama and dripping and drabbing information out of it out here and there to keep people guessing and misinformed. They're very good at that. That's about the only creativity they have. When it comes to art or anything non-technical, anything that's all right, what people call the right brain stuff, let me tell you, they suck at it. They're not artistic, they're not creative, they might be able to write fiction, however that's about it. And they will despise anyone and fear anyone who can use it, because for some reason they can't work out, creative people can work together and create beautiful things and technical marvels. And yet, the way they do it leaves them absolutely flummoxed. They can't figure it out. So they will take from you. They take your time. They take your money. They take your resources. They take and they take. And they don't care whether it goes to them or in the garbage. They don't care about that. They take from you. Because people who show creativity, like your voice, act, uh, voice acting, or your... Uh, techniques or your followers is something they that could be used against them. It's a potential threat. That is the world they live in. So they manipulate other people to try and cancel out other people and they take and they take and they take because they're trying to deprive you of resources that you could use against them. The same mentality as anyone who's really good at games like StarCraft. You attack the base and cripple their resourcing operations so they can't build stuff to throw against you because their default assumption is that you're building stuff to throw against them. Because, and the reason they do it, ironically, is some of the most human of reasons. That's what they would do. And ironically, it's that same uh, trait in everybody else that keeps them safe. Well, of course they're not trying to uh, backstab me or just take my uh, resources and time and effort and my emotional stability away because uh, they see it as something I could potentially use as a resource to threaten them. No, that's not what I'd do. So, uh, what I'm saying to you here is that if you try and evaluate someone like Ashes the Raven on the grounds that of what you would do, no, you're going to miss the boat and it won't make sense. If you think about them as a sociopath that's de depriving you of resources because they saw your talent as a threat, and when you don't work for them, you're, you must be working against them in their head, suddenly it all makes sense. I know. I was the victim of it. For a very long time, and with some very negative consequences. I learned from it, and I'm making this video in the hopes that you'll see that these people don't have authentic sexualities. They don't have authentic identities. That was something the movie American Psycho got right. Today, they're a stockbroker. Tomorrow, if it suits them, they'll use the same manipulative skills to be, you know, a nanny or a housewife. They often work with a disadvantage because they know how to manipulate them. And when they saw somebody who needed a friend, as I did, or wanted to feel loved, or needed, as in they needed something from you, they became what you, you wanted to see, and they became what I wanted to see. The truth is, they're very good at reading people's cues, and they have no genuine cues of their own. So when you see people take from others, and then claim they should be rewarded for it, watch out. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave you some links down the bottom to Thomas Sheridan's stuff, and hopefully it's uh, slightly more comforting what I'm talking about. Though if you do want to compare experiences, let me hear.